Hey, what's going on guys? I've got something very exciting for you. Uh, 10th Gen Civic 1.5 Turbo guys in front of me right here. This is a bolt-on turbo upgrade from MHI, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. We're gonna tell you the differences between stock, what this thing is good for, why you'd want it, and just kind of tell you a little bit about it. So let's go. What's up guys, it's JP from edgeautosport.com. We have a Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Turbo in front of me right here. This is, uh, this is a direct replacement for the stock Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Turbo that Honda puts on the 1.5T 10th Gen Civic models. So um, this is kind of, this is really cool. I'm super excited to bring this to you because not every car has an upgrade like this available. So what this is, is it's, again, it's a direct replacement for the stock turbo. As you can see, they are, you know, to, to the eye, to the naked eye, they are basically the exact same thing. They have the same look for the, for the casting on the compressor side, on the turbine side. They have all the same flanges right here for all the oil and water. Um, you know, even the, uh, it even comes with a new actuator. You do not have to take your old actuator off. This is obviously the electronic stock actuator, so uh, this is a full bolt-on replacement kit. And this is made by MHI, or Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. You know, a lot of people get confused if you've never heard of MHI. You think, well, what the heck, why is there a Mitsubishi Turbo on, on a Honda Civic? And the truth is, Mitsubishi makes turbos for a ton of different cars out there, a lot of different, a lot of different brands that are household names. Um, aside from their own cars themselves. You know, obviously they made the turbos in the Evos and stuff like that, but, uh, but they also make turbos for a lot of different other cars. So, so that's what we have here. Uh, the stock turbo is MHI, this upgraded turbo, turbo is MHI. And really what they did is they took the same housings, the compressor and the turbine, and they stuck different comp uh, turbine wheels and compressor wheels inside of them. I'm not sure how much they've changed the actual housings themselves, if they've carved those out a little bit or, or bored those out at all. Um, I'm not quite sure what machining is different on the inside, but I do know that the turbine wheel is three millimeters larger than the factory turbine wheel. It also has two less blades. So it does have more surface area per blade for the exhaust pressure and gas to flow against and push up against, but it also kind of opens up a little bit more room for the pressure and the gas to flow through with those two less blades. So that in and of itself is going to allow the exhaust pressure to push a little bit better, push a little bit harder, uh, create more boost and, and really get it spooling up just as fast as stock, but be able to flow higher on the top end, which is really awesome. Another big change they made is on the compressor side as well. As you can see on this new one right here, the compressor wheel looks slightly different than the old one. Uh, if you go to do this upgrade, you can, you can definitely see the difference. It is a billet compressor wheel, so it's going to be a little bit lighter weight. They're going to be able to make it a little bit stronger because they can machine it to a little bit more exact tolerances, and that's gonna be a little bit more aerodynamic than the factory wheel. Uh, so all in all, it just, it allows the compressor to generate a lot more flow, a lot more uh, boost than the stock one, just because of the two different wheels that they're changing out on here. If you look at the compressor map, and we'll, we'll go ahead and list the, the compressor map and all the information that MHI give, uh, gives with this turbo, the compressor map range is so much bigger than stock. It can hi handle higher boost and it flows better as, you know, as it starts to spin faster than the stock one. So again, it's gonna have similar response to this as the stock turbo, but much better flow and much more capable of making, uh, of making power. So uh, this turbo is gonna use all the factory gaskets. Like I said, it's bolt-on. So it's gonna use, it's gonna use the factory gasket that goes right here uh, that, that mates to the cylinder head. It's gonna made up with the stock style downpipe. This is all the same style uh, of flange on the downpipe. Um, the actuator, again, this, I, I, I'm not sure I expected it to come with an actuator, but this is a brand new actuator, so you don't even have to swap this out, which is just awesome. And then the intake, the inlet, is gonna hook up uh, to the compressor housing right here. Blow off valve or bypass valve, it's gonna work the exact same way. Um, all the oil fittings, like you see right here, 
oil and water fittings, they're all gonna hook up the exact same way. So this is just such a sweet upgrade. And even though, you know, it is still a, a decent cost, right? It's uh, it's not the cheapest turbo in the world, but it's, it's made in Japan, it's made by Mitsubishi, it's made by the same company that made the stock turbo. It's highly, highly, highly reliable, very, very functional. You're not totally changing out the functionality of the car and moving the, the uh, you know, the boost range too far right in the curve of, of you know, of the RPM range. It's, it's really gonna be such an awesome upgrade. So this is perfect for you guys that don't wanna go make 400, 500 horsepower. They want just a simple, maybe 30, 40, 50 horsepower upgrade, but just bolt it on use it with all your other equipment that you already have on the car or what you plan to get for the car. This is a perfect, perfect way to upgrade your car um, and just get that extra bump in power, big bump in power from just a single part. So if you have any questions, just let us know. We'd be glad to help. Put them in the comments below. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button uh, if you want to get notified of when we do new videos and uh yeah we are uh, super happy to bring you this sweet turbo upgrade for the 1.5 turbo 10th gen civic we'll see you on the next one guys thanks